Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Time Out for the Alphabet with Miss T, and that is me. How are you today? I hope you're doing well, and I hope you're ready to go over something called alphabetical order. And what is alphabetical order, you might ask? Well, it is when you take words and you put them in the order of the alphabet. Alphabet. I said you put them in the order of the alphabet. And we know that our alphabet is right here. And we know that our alphabet starts with what letter? If you said A, you are right. The letter A. And what letter does the alphabet end with? You're right. And let me move my chair over. So you can really see. Yes, it's the letter Z, the letter Z. So it starts with A and ends with Z. And then it goes out letter by letter of what comes next, okay? A is always the first letter. Z is always the last letter. B is always the second. C is always the third. D is always the fourth and so on, right? and E is fifth. So we keep on going until we get to number 26. They're all in a row. They're all in order. When we do our alphabet song, right? When we say the alphabet, this is the order that it always is. So when we talk about alphabetical order, that means if you're going to put words in a sequence by the alphabet, you have to put what letter comes before the next letter. Now, the letters might not be A, B, C, D, and start with A, B, C, D, and E. It could be one word starts with the letter A, another word starts with the letter K, another word starts with the letter R, and another word may start with the letter X, right? And so when we say put them in order, would we put the, the word X before the letter A? No, will we put it before the letter K? No, we would go in a row. We would go in order. So say, let's look at some words here before we do our words. Say we go with the letter G and we're looking at a gift, a gift. And I said, I want you to put in order the word gift, the word ice cream, the word pencil, you see these words, and the word red. Would I put the word red first? No. What word would I put first? Right, I would put gift first because it's up at the top. I didn't say any of these letters with the, a word for these letters. I just started with the word G, but because that is um, one of the words that I used and it's up here and you know that I didn't use any letters up here, you know that you're going to put the G first because it comes in the sequence, okay? It can sound a little confusing. It may be a little tricky, but it's not. You just go in a row, okay? So, so we're going to practice this today. We are going to get this down and you are going to know how to put things in alphabetical order. Now, you may not use this while you're in preschool, but as you get older, maybe kindergarten, I don't know, maybe first, second grade, right? They might say, the teacher might say, can you put these words in order? Can you put these in alphabetical order? And this is a way to help you to know what letters come before the next or the other letters, okay? It's in a sequence, it comes in a row. All right, so here we go. We're gonna make caterpillars and I'm gonna give you the words. And then this is the front of our caterpillar and we're gonna put it on our handy dandy board. And right here, you see the letters of the alphabet on the board. So this should help you figure out what word comes first. Are you ready? Here we go. So I'm going to put our first one here. This is the this is the head or the face of the caterpillar. Then I'm going to pick out another. I'm going to tell you the words and then you're going to help me put the words in order. 
Matter of fact, I'm just going to put some words up here. I'm going to put them up here and you're going to help me change them around so that they are in order. So we have the word ring, mop, can, and web. Are these words in order? No, can you help me put them in order? What would be the first word if you're going by the alphabet? Let's see, we don't have a word that starts with the letter A. Do we have a word that starts with the letter B? No. C? Yes, can. So would that be our first word? Yes, you are right. So now we're gonna have to move this over here and let's put can first. Let's move it over. Let's move it over. Okay, let's put it here. Now we have to figure out what word is going to come next because we're doing alphabetical order. What word would come next by the letters? Now, we don't see any words. Let's start with D, E, F, G. Look, we don't have any of these words. H, I, J, K, L. Do we have something that starts with the letter M? You are right. So would that be the next word that we put in our alphabetical order, caterpillar? Yes, you are right and it's already there. So we're just gonna move it a little bit closer. Put it right there. Good job, that's a little bit crooked. I'm gonna kind of fix it, fix it. Put you straight, hopefully you can get straight here. All right, I think that's better, right? So now let's keep going. We don't have any words that start with the letter N or the letter O. Do you see anything that starts with the O? Or the letter P or the letter Q? Do we have anything that starts with the letter R? Yes, you are right. The word ring. And guess what? Ring is already in position. It will be the next letter in our alphabetical order sequence. It would be R, R. So let's keep going. Do we have any words that start with the letter S? What about T? What about U? What about V? W? Yes. So that would be our next word and it is the word web, web. So let's just put it here closer to our caterpillar. There we go. So here are all of our words in order and we made our alphabetical order caterpillar. Can, mop, ring, web. And that's how we do it. There are a lot of letters that we did not use, but we still put it in alphabetical order by the letter. So C comes before M, M comes before R, R comes before W, okay? So that's how we do our alphabetical order sequence. I was going to do five words today, but I think I just wanted you to get the concept to be able to do it. So we are just going to do this one word today, and then I will come back and we will go over more words. And then I think we're gonna go a little bit faster and you can help me put these words together, okay? So I hope you like this video and I hope you go over it again so you can have an understanding. And also, you always want to go over the alphabet. Going over the alphabet every day Practicing will help you know what letters come before each other, okay? So, until next time, for Miss T, a time out for the alphabet. Hope to see you soon. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.